Judge ordered the woman who accused former county supervisor Nathan Fletcher of sexual misconduct to turn over all communication between the two of them, and she has one week to do it. The latest updates now. CBS 8's Kelly Hesedal joining us live from outside the Hall of Justice to tell us what just happened in that courtroom today. Kelly, good morning. Yeah, that's right. You know, uh, we did not see Nathan Fletcher or his accuser in the courtroom today. It was just their attorneys appearing on their behalf. Now, this case has been going on for the past eight months, and Nathan Fletcher's attorneys say they still don't have all of the evidence, all of the documents that they've been requesting from uh, the plaintiff, Gracia Figueroa. So here's some of what we heard this morning. No photos have been provided, no videos have been provided, no voice recordings have been provided, and we're missing dozens and dozens of communication. It's all that all that was included in the supplemental production were the screenshots that were in uh, incorporated into the complaint. That's all that was produced regarding the communications. And the judge today gave Figueroa's attorneys one week to produce all of the photos, videos, text messages uh, between her and Fletcher and turn them over to his attorneys or they will face $4,100 in fines by the court. Now, Figueroa, a former MTS employee, says she was sexually harassed and assaulted by Nathan Fletcher while working at MTS and while he was uh, the MTS board chair at the time, he claims they had an affair that was consensual. So today, there was a lot of back and forth about this protective order that MTS wants put in place essentially so that all of these messages and videos are not made public. Figueroa's attorneys uh, say there were conference calls on this. Fletcher's attorneys say no, there haven't been. So it was clear today moving forward on this case has been challenging. So Figueroa's attorneys say uh, whatever Fletcher's attorneys are asking for with regard to discovery, with regard to these documents, this evidence, they say they already have. Everything that was in the plaintiffs has seen control with an indication that we've now learned most of that information is actually in the hands of Meta, who is Instagram, who has that information, or Fletcher, assuming he hasn't deleted it. And I was able to catch up with Fletcher's attorney in the hallway today. Uh, he told me he had no comment. I also reached out to, to Figueroa's attorney. I am still waiting to hear back. Kelly Hassett, all CBS 8.